Hey guys, welcome back for part 21, I believe, of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold! Woo! No, wait. Yes, part 21. I just got an email. Let's see if that's actually something important. If it's not, I don't really care about it. Stupid phone, I want to check my email, not go to the menu. I don't want to go to contact, stupid phone. I want to go to the... Ah! Yay, something I don't really care about. Anyway, after that long, long drawn out process, you can see... I have a little friend with me! And guess what's going to happen to the little friend? No, I'm not gonna eat him, you sickos! Goddamn sickos! I got the Waterstone off screen after going through the Lagathon! Actually, uh, the stamina course is the least laggy on the emulator by far. It wasn't that painful. And. Yay! Vaporeon is back! And by back, I mean here! And at level 1, I can tailor its stats exactly how I wish. And now, first and foremost, Surf. Surf will be on Vaporeon the entire game. And one other thing, Shadow Ball, giving him the ability to fight psychics and ghosts. And with the relatively good special attack of Vaporeon, this actually helps quite a lot. Helping hand, I hardly ever get into double battles, so... And... Sloop. Cannot wait until it learns Ice Beam, because then it'll be even more complete. Now, there's really nothing else I can really teach him at all. I mean, I could try to teach him Swagger, but what's the point? Might as well go with Attract. I mean, I like to have one type of status move, so... And... No, Vaporeon's defense is kind of bad, so... I would much rather have Attract than Tailwind. And at level 1, he's ready to fight the gym right away! <gasps> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um... If you can see the timer in the bottom of the screen, I don't think you'll be able to, because, you know... I'm gonna edit it in Camtasia, not Camtasia, in, um, Sony Vegas, so... But, yeah, I've got my timer on the screen, and it actually also couples as my ability to see whether my audio cuts out at all or not, because I can see the little audio meter at the bottom of the screen. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna quickly off-screen training Vaporeon here. Aw, you're holding something. Let's take it. Yay, thank you! Yay, I got a big skill! I have no idea what to do with that. But anyway, I'm gonna train this little bastard off screen up to level 25, and then I'm gonna, to, you know, go up to Jasmine. So I will see you guys relatively soon. Ah! <laughs> My fortuitousness increases yet again! Hi, Entei! Um. I don't have a single Pokeball on me! Yeah! Um... <laughs> Game trolls me the second I find Entei. No Pokeballs. Yeah. Yeah, he's using Roar running away, so... Damage him a little bit. Bye-bye! <laughs> uh, uh, why? That's what I get for being unprepared. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, I'll see you back in Olivine City, guys. Uh... Oh, no. These guys are just attracted to me! Uh, hi, guys, I'm back again. And Entei just does not want to leave me alone now. Ah, uh, episode 17 was Raiko the Stalker. This episode is Entei the Stalker. I think Entei just took the buzz away from the Jasmine fight that will be. Uh, you can tell I renamed uh, Vaporeon to Aquana. It's actually the German word for Vaporeon, so... And this time, I'm prepared! I even bought some Ultra Balls! Oh god. Oh wow. Pokeballs worked better with Raikou. Might as well have just used Surf on him again. Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you when I'm ready for Jasmine. <laughs> uh, see you guys. 
Hey guys, and we are finally back in Olivine City! That's right, I did not cut away into one of the legendary trio fights. Oh god, how odd. Anyway, uh, let's just get right on to Jasmine. That sounded wrong. Actually, that sounded right. Oh! And now we play the waiting game. Screw the waiting game. Tee hee! Love the speed up function on the emulator. There she is, let's get right back on her. That sounded right. Heh. <laughs> Here you go. Will that medicine cure Amphi? No! Yes, it will. No, the super expensive potion that I brought all the way from CN would won't help, even though that's exactly where you asked me to go in the first place. Oh, God! He's sparkling! He's utterly fabulous! Ah! I've gone blind! Oh god, who just pushed me? I, I can't see. Where am I? Oh, grab a ladder! Ah! No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm gonna go the easy way. Oh. I'm gonna go the easy way after I stop falling down the ladder due to my blindness from this little asshole. Next time, warn me before you flash that bright. God. Asshole. Speed up time! Yay, I've arrived at the first floor. And that should be that. That was easy. You do have to go up there to hand her the potion, though, so... Who the hell is this? Warden Baoba? Oh. Well, I'm not going back there just yet. I want to get to, uh, Mahogany before I do that. Well, actually, before I finish this off, I want to see how much money I've saved up. Hi, Mommy! I'm finally calling you! Saved up 13 grando. Oh, yeah. Keep on saving. You know, I probably would have saved up about 20 grand by now if she didn't keep buying stuff with my money. Yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and... I keep forgetting. Use the menu. Do not use the mouse while you're recording, Justin. Bad Justin. Very bad Justin. Anyway. There we go. Oh, yeah. By the way... Another thing I did off-screen, because my sister borrowed my headphones, and I can't record properly if I can't hear what's going on, and if I use the speakers, then you get horrible feedback through the mic, so... While she was gone, I went and played Voltorb Flip for about four hours, and... Flamethrower! Ice Beam! Thunderbolt! Thirty... Thousand coins. Way ridiculous. I wish I could have just bought the coins. I would have taken the money hit. But yeah, once this guy learns Lava Plume, I'm actually going to erase Flamethrower. But for now, I just want something uh, special uh, fire attack on him. Because his moveset is very physical for a special attacker. Now, this was just awesome. I'm so glad that I got the uh, that TM. As for Scyther, you know, he's normal. Uh, hang on. Let me rearrange these. I like to have my top two attacks on the top two buttons. There we are. And I like to have my least favorite you move in the bottom right. Yeah, I know, uh, um, you know, I'm grasping at straws here to try to rearrange everything. I do need to change that on, uh, Amphi. Not Amphi! Oh god, I'm using the nickname the game gave to- uh -huh. And you... No, you're fine. Yeah, um, do I have... Wait, actually, no, I don't have any TMs for Ampharos. Whoops. Anyway, not even gonna bother to save for this fight, because this fight is so easy. But there's a difference. She has trainers this time! Wait, no, she doesn't. I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader. The battle is a separate battle. Go for it. That's all you have to say? And I did that epic voice for nothing? Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew how capable you are! I'm never doing that again. Really? You couldn't have fought me to give me some experience yet, douches? Thank you for your help, but this is different. I already know who you are. Yay! Do you know about the steel type? Of course I do. I'm a veteran. Hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. So, kitchen knives. Um, not lying. 
Well, I'm not gonna lie to you when I say I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, your Pokemon's ass. Your ass I'm gonna keep intact. For now. Oh god, I accidentally made a sex joke again. Sorry about that, I was getting thirsty. But yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep accidentally making these innuendos in Pokemon, and some of them are on purpose, but that one was an accident. Oh god, I have serious issues. Yay, you're dead! I actually really like Magnemite's evolutions, honestly. And just because Ampharos is so awesome is the only reason why I'm not raising one. Yay! Time to break him! Break, break, break her in! No, him. But I keep forgetting my Vaporeon's a male. Hi, Steelix. You have a full 10 levels on me. It's cool. I totally don't feel like I'm about to die at all. I'm faster than you! Oh, yeah. That's not going to kill him with one shot, and he's probably going to use Sunny Day. Yep. Yep, he's going to lead... Yep, the next one's going to be Sunny Day, so... No? Ow! Come on, Vaporeon, you're tougher than that! Yes, you are. Should have just used Sunny Day, it would have bought you some time. This fight was so much easier than I thought it would be. Her Steelix has Iron Tail, Sunny Day, Big Rocks... Throw? Maybe in Screech? I'm reasonably certain each of her Magnemites has... Supersonic... I actually don't know what her Magnemites have because I always kill them way before they get a chance to attack. Um, actually, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna use Dig here instead of Flamedor just to see what it'll use. I forgot whether it has Thundershock, Zap Cannon, Thunderbolt, I can't remember. Thunder Wave. Okay, so Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Shockwave, not Shockwave, uh, Sonic Boom, and more than likely Thunderbolt. But it doesn't matter since you're dead. Woo! I killed him! I killed her Pokemon. I love that. Well done. You're a better trader than me, both in. No, I think you're much kinder. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> Yay, I got the mineral badge from this lovely, lovely woman. With that badge, all Pokemon included trade will somebody will take this too, and there we are. Museum 23. That's her signature move, Iron Tail. Hit the target with a hard tail, occasionally lowering defense. Unfortunately, its accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired. Again, Justin, don't use the mouse. There's a whole reason I can use this. Anyway, there we are. Yes, I will teach Iron Tail to a Pokemon. Alright, as you can see, the three Pokemon can learn it, but it's going to Braxis. Which move should be forgotten? I would love to get rid of Rock Smash, honestly, but I can't do that yet. Yep, forgot how to use Rock Tomb, and boom! Uh, if you're wondering why I don't have any HMs, <sighs> I do have a confession to make. When I did get the 30,000 coins, and I did buy every single one of those TMs, and get you know, use them, just before I saved it, just before I saved it, my house lost power. My house lost the fucking power just before I saved it. And I wasn't about to go through all that again, so I cheated them into my game. Only problem is, it seems like my action, the action replay code I used, which I subsequently deleted, got rid of my HMs as well. And I'm not cheating the HMs back into my game, because that causes glitches, and yeah. You might be able to get them again by talking to the original owners, but... Yeah. Kinda sucks. Which means I can't teach anyone cut. Which, you know, kind of fucks up the Suicune storyline a little bit until I figure out how to fix this. I could just wait to do the Suicune thing until I have every single HM. Like, once I get Waterfall, I could just do the cheat all TMs and HMs, and then I'll sell off every single one of the TMs. And then after I sell them off, I'll remember the amount of money I had, and then I'll just buy a whole bunch of proteins. After I buy the amount of proteins I need to get back to my original amount of money, I'll just throw away all the proteins. Which I really don't want- I didn't want to have to do, but I'm not about to go through all the pain of fucking Voltorb flip all over again just to get those TMs. I did the work the first time, and that's the only reason I cheated that time. But anyway, 
This has been Bishop Butter signing off and cheating for your viewing pleasure. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to me. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys. Take care. We're off to Hoggity Town next. If I can get to the door.